shy girl. I met this one guy at my school. Man, he's so fine. Coming from you, that's kind of crazy, knowing that you're gay. Girl, I know, but like, shoot. Well, whatever you say, girl. Where your girlfriend been? Oh, my God, let me tell you. So, her family and I just wish they moved. Like, they just moved. Like, I don't know why. Oh, well, we should be heading to the bus stop. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, what's playing on TV? That was a good time we caught jellyfish. I forgot we caught jellyfish. Let me go see if he's still up there. Why would he not be up there, Jake? I don't know, Mia. Hey, let me go see. Huh, sometime I pray for that boy. I pray for him. Let's see if there's any calls. Ah. Hey, jellyfish. You, <laughs> you regret putting me in this place. You will. Sis, I forgot something. What? I know, right? Look at the TV. Oh, my God. That show seems interesting. I hope they come out with a new season. You know, knowing these shows, they're not going to come out with a new season for real, though. So I'm the first one here. Time to party. Time to party. Getting to write down these beautiful notes. Hi, hi. I don't think you're supposed to be here. Hi, hi. Pastor Dean, you know it's me. Oh, hi, hi. My name is Dean, Pastor Dean. Oh, hi. Look, look, though. <laughs> did you know? Did you know that no one is supposed to be here? Wait, we off today? Yeah, because the balls fell down the stairs. How did the... You know what? You know what? I ain't even gonna ask no question. I ain't. You know what? Okay. Well, if you didn't know that you weren't supposed to be here, the boss sent out a message before he fell down the stairs. So the boss just fell down the stairs. And we, and we don't got work because of that. Yep. And I'm security guard here, so I'm I'm supposed to tell you guys that you're not supposed to be here. But look, as you didn't even ask how the boss fell, he fell down two flights of stairs from a dog to kicking him in the back of the head. How does the dog... What? What? Yeah, but have a good day. Pastor Dean finna go teach the pastoring, okay? How does the... How did the... I, I, I'm lost. All right, all right, all right. My name is Mrs. Hunchback. Mrs. Hunchback, I don't give a care about none of y'all. I don't give a care about this classroom. I'm just here to teach y'all for the rest of the year. The rest of the teachers that you had probably effed up your life, and I don't care what they did to your life. I don't care if they were shoot to your life. I don't care if they did anything to you. I really don't care. But for real, though, I am Mr. Mrs. Humpback. Now... I probably look like, um, um, I just wish because I am kind of related to that dude, all right? Don't worry about it. If you get to class late, I will escort you back out and you can go pick some grass, you know? Because that is what the punishment here is going to be. You're going to be drinking some dirt. You're going to be drinking some dirt. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Also, the rule number one is I already stated you cannot talk in this classroom while I'm in here. I probably said that. I don't know. Rule number two, if you're late, you're going to be scrubbing the beautiful grass and licking it with your tongue. And you're going to also be licking that grass and beautiful grounds, okay? Most random stuff that I can tell you in this classroom is my rules are set firmly. You're going to be sitting on the floor for the rest of the class, period, because I want to know how these desks are going to be arranged. If you have a girlfriend, boyfriend, or anything, no freaky deaky stuff in my classroom, because I will make sure I expose you guys. What I mean by that is, tell you, tell you all your business what you be doing. I be nosy and I will know. Another thing, another rule in my classroom is that I do not want no eating, drinking, spitting. I don't care what you're doing behind them chairs. I don't want it in my classroom. That's another rule, and it should be in all schools, but that's nothing uh, for me to know. Another thing is in my classroom, I like it beautiful. That means I want y'all to come in here fancy, fancy, much fancy. When we have a guest, I want you to give them your full attention, even if they're trash and they don't need to be here, but I got to teach you anyway. Today, you're in math class. You're going to be learning math in this classroom and a bunch of a little reading. I don't know, because... I don't know what to teach in this classroom, so I'm going to teach you guys math. So, yes, my name is Mrs. Hunchback. Mrs. Hunchback, okay? 
We're going to have the guests in here in a few minutes. My name is Brian, dude. I'm a Brian, dude. This here is Brian. Brian is the beautifulest, beautifulest, beautifulest kid that has ever walked his planet to be a beautiful paramedics to save beautiful lives. You're going to give Brian your full attention, and if you don't, you can escort and sneak me outside, and I will drown you. Hi, my name is Brian. I am, I've been working with the paramedics for at least 15 years of my life. Um, and I'm just here to teach you about safety. Safety rules and stuff that you need to learn. Most of y'all might know me from saving lives, and that's cool of you. Thank you, Brian, for coming in and teaching these brats, other kids, that they need to learn and whatever with medical. So to go ahead and teach them about medical stuff, all right? All right, as I've been a doctor for 15 years, in most people, the left lung is 10% smaller than the right. Did you guys know that? I actually didn't know that. Well, here's fact number two, okay? The human brain operates on 12 to 25 watts of power, okay? All right, we're going to do a third fact, and I will be gone. So let me tell y'all about our tongue. So we, you know we have tongues. The tongue is the strongest muscle in the entire body. Did you guys know that? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These stupid children will understand and love medical facts in their life. I hope they do what you just said. My name's Brian. Have a great day. Very gnarly, dude. My name is Brian. All right. Thank you for your time, Brian. See you again. All right, little brats. Let's get the show on the started on the road, on the beautiful road, road, road. All right, so as you know, you're gay. Who's the fine boy? I don't know if he still go here, but like he's, I don't know where he's at. There's a lion in the hallway. Get out of the hallways now. Huh?